Many families are feeling stressed as their children head back to school amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. One thing that isn't helping, a nationwide school bus driver shortage. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joins us live from Maywood, just one of the communities feeling the impact. Meredith. Erica, so many families rely on the school bus to get their children to and from school safely. But with so few drivers, it's not just causing delays for students, but headaches for school districts. Buses are running a little late. There is a challenge out there, and we're not the only ones. It was this letter from School District 89 Superintendent Dr. David Negron that caught our eye, asking for parents to be understanding and flexible should their child's bus show up late. It was sent after several buses were delayed during the first three days of school. Dr. Negron pointed to the nationwide school bus driver shortage now impacting his district and the six others that use Lakeview bus lines. This is the worst that I've seen in 45 years that I've been in business. Wagner says prior to the pandemic, he employed 360 people. Now it's 240. You're short drivers. You're trying everything you can to get people to come to work. They're not coming to work. It's tough. It's best I can tell you. It's just uh, never seen it before. Very difficult. The worst conundrum. Lakeview has hard to miss signs posted all over their property, hoping to entice people to get into these empty driver seats. You can't even get them come in the door for $25 an hour. He's also offering his current employees a $1,500 referral bonus. It's a move similar to what other companies are doing across the country. The shortage so extreme, one Montana school district is offering a $4,000 bonus. In the meantime, Wagner says he's worked with all the districts to combine routes and have drivers do multiple routes as a temporary solution, which means Dr. Negron was able to get all of his students inside their classrooms today with only about a five-minute delay. Knock on wood, today was a very good day. The National Association of Pupil Transport estimates tens of thousands of drivers are needed nationwide. But even if someone is hired, it can take six to eight weeks for someone to get their commercial driver's license. Reporting live in Maywood, I'm Meredith Barrett, CBS 2 News. Erica. Meredith, thank you.